All right. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, last time we were doing this here on Turok Rage Wars, uh, I got to this first like one-on-one -on -one, like boss fight sort of thing, and I made a fool of myself by not being able to uh, beat that guy at all after like ten tries. Um, naturally, first time that I uh, tried to beat him after I, you know, wasn't streaming anymore, I did the first time because I was actually able to really focus on him. It's not that difficult, but, you know, it's a sort of idea of, like, maybe I'm not that great at most of the games that I play, and I may be expected to be, you know, comfortable in this, and that's exactly, like, the sort of, like, even games that I think that I'm decent at and I'm comfortable with, like, being on the stream really, really changes, you know, how I play things, so it's uh it's a skill that i have been trying to develop for several years since i've been doing this and of course it's not I'm still not that perfect at it uh in a lot of ways but we've got a team death match uh here is our next our next fight so i should have oh my god he's taking a lot of shots here is he running run away Get I should, okay, I was gonna say I should have been able to get him with, at the very least, the amount of uh, ammo that I had uh, from the starter. Okay, and I just double checked the actual stream quality, and we're good here, so that's, that's good. Oh, oh, I don't have any more weaponry, so we gotta bail right now. Energy rounds. Uh, I've found that the tech bow in this particular game, like it's not bad in any other. Uh, Turok game, it's very, very useful, but the way that they made it in this game is, is just awful. Like, it doesn't have the, the like, the way that a rocket launcher has good splash damage and everything, so you can kind of, like, like this. I don't know if I, if I got any sort of thing there. Now I'm in the corner, it's going to be a little bit... Oh, hey! Yeah, I got a little splash on that. Awesome. Also, one major thing that I had to do with this was, um, uh, oh, they're all, they're all over me here. I don't think he's got any ammo, though. He's running. Yeah, tech, tech buff sucks, honestly. Uh, specifically in Rage Wars, it's not a problem in, in 1 or 2. Um, this is a weird thing that's in this level. I've, I've played this map a couple times now, and the, the way that the water is in this level, like, it's something you walk into, and then you can swim up and... And then swim down out of it. So it's got all these levels. It's uh, it doesn't seem like a a level they should be using this much this early. On. Yeah, nice shot. We've got five kills. I'm not doing too bad here. It's like oh cool, and I've got the next one too. That's good. I've been trying to use these alternate uh, fire modes. I just found out what the Max 60 does for its alternate fire mode, which sounds like it would be really cool and extremely useful, especially like that, where I'm like, never say die, only need one more good shot in here. But um, the Max 60 is supposed to use like 25 shots in a row if you use the alternate fire mode, and uh, you're supposed to be able to press B to turn on the alternate fire mode to switch between the two of them. And I haven't. All the, all the guns I tried to do it with, they just say function not available, so... I don't know what the deal is with that yet. I'm hoping to be able to, to do some of the more fun stuff in here. It's not... It's also not something that I've always done. Yeah, six kills. Alright, there it is. Uh, I didn't die. Huh. Did I already do this one? I don't think I did. That didn't seem familiar, but it said item already acquired. Either way, you saw something new. Um, this is... Hey, we're in the capture the flag now, too. We're not doing team deathmatch. So this would be interesting. I, I feel like it's going to be on me to be the fucking flag runner, for sure. That's... Is this team capture the flag, or is it... Or is it individual, because... I just immediately saw three dudes... Uh, or two dudes. There's three of us in this room. And... That is a really tiny arena to capture the flag. Alright, I think it is I think it is three though. I think it's just three free for all. That's weird. I really, really view capture the flag as a team game, but I know that it's not always. 
So that's my that's my capture point there. And the flag is located up in here. So okay, so it is like this is just not that great. It's just not that exciting, is it? I know that there's three of us here and it's it's like cool, but like it's such a small map that we just respawn this way. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay, now I have it. And where are they even? And I'm up. And I'm going. Oh man, this game better open up with some of the ideas a little bit later on because that's been one of the more disappointing things to me so far is that like, I don't know, just the map, the map design is like weirdly claustrophobic. And unlike in especially in Turok 1, I think Turok 2 feels a lot more like this game does, but Turok 1 feels real floaty and real like, like it, I say it and it sounds like it would be a bad thing to compare it to this. Damage reversal, that's gonna be useful for capture the flag, I guess. If that means what I think it means, where if they shoot me, they get hurt. Anyway. Is there another spawn point for the flag? Because it does not look like those guys have it. Oh, I had it, apparently. I don't know what the hell that was. That was weird. I, uh... I won't say for sure that I don't like Capture the Flag being in the free-for-all format like that, but that has to be on a better map. Like, this game is this can this game's been really, really up and down with its with its actual mission design, and um, I, like I don't want to hold it to too high of a standard because the Tiger Monkey is cool. Uh, I don't want to hold it to too high of a standard because arena shooters had not really developed that well, and. The, this doesn't have any games on the system to copy, so I don't know how hard it's... I, I can't imagine it is being held back that hard by the, the 64 itself, but like... Okay, so... Is that... I haven't quite understood the monkey thing, so I don't think I did a tag the monkey on the last stream I did, because it would have been in the first two. Okay, now I'm the monkey. And I need to get... Yeah, here we go. So, tag the monkey is actually a pretty good idea. I do like this one. Um, the idea is that one of the players will let random be to a monkey with, oh god, that's, that's a bad time. Uh, a monkey, like I am right here, with 10 health and, uh, no ability to use weapons or anything, right? And the other players have to find it and kill the monkey to the teleporter and escape being the monkey. It's sort of like... If you're if you are the monkey, you are the one in danger of giving the other guys points. So I'm the monkey now. I need to get away from there. And we need to find the teleporter. It's not that one. This is actually good. Idea. I, I I literally said like I've been pretty up and down on uh, some of the ideas that they have uh, at this point early on in the game. I do like the tag the monkey thing. That is an actually like good, uh, good idea and good game design. Especially, it does work better the way that like, oh, okay, like the you can't, you can't do anything. With them while they're off. Okay, it's good. Yay. Oh yeah, the other thing that I had to do since the last stream is definitely better off changing the weapon select to tapping A and just cycling, because having to like distract myself from looking around. Was me? Okay. I have literally not seen either of these other two be be so. Okay, really cool. Does it? Was it? Oh, it's, it's right behind me. Look at me. Okay, okay, keep spawning me right next to it. There he is. Yeah, alright, finally. Yeah, so that's a monkey tag right there. See the score counter underneath the uh, the skull there? That's the, that's the monkey. 
Yes, it would be smart to stay closer to the teleporters when you find them, but, like, the map is only so big, and most of the runs that you're doing from the, the monkey tag is a run across the map, so you're, like, I'm trying to get, trying to get down. Just a frag right there. I love, I love playing a game where, like, frag is by far the most accurate way to describe scoring points. Like, yeah, got a frag on that one. Best frag. Playing Unreal Tournament and shit. Unreal Championship, actually, is one of my awesome. I almost had him there. I was going right for it. Uh, Unreal Championship 2 on the original Xbox is one of my favorites on that system. Unreal Tournament 3. So, like, I, I have played this, uh, this genre before. That's why I was pretty excited about this. I didn't realize how... I don't want to say primitive, I because primitive isn't really the right way to describe what this one's shortcomings are, but it is a little bit it's it's limited is probably the best the best way I can say it. I don't know why I feel like this is limited and like oh if you had it. See he's only got ten health, so you think that splash damage would have actually been enough for it, but not that time. Oh, we got this time. There we go. Three monkey kills. Very good. Like, they so don't seem concerned with, like, taking me out when I'm, even when I'm just regular mode. Alright, so we're gonna have another boss fight now, so we'll see how this goes compared to last time. Also sucks, too, is, um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to, oh, I'm, fa I'm facing Tall Set, so that's, that's awesome. The Tall Set is the original, uh, the original Turok uh, in the first game. That's who it is. So Josh, Joshua Firesuit, you know, you notice he looks a lot different than the uh, the character model that they zoom in on to start out the original Turok. It's because Tall Side is the first one. Joshua Firesuit is, I believe, he starts with two. All right, defeat Tall Set with seven lives. Man, I should have saved my. You know what? I guess I'll have to re retitle it since. Uh, oh, this is what the is this lava? The fuck is that? All right, good to know. There he is. Tall set, unlike the other guys. Have to deal with him, so. so I can just kind of get at him for as much as I can get every time I see him. I'm not gonna have to do a whole hit and run thing necessarily. Feel him out at least, though. The hell is down there? How did he do that? All right, I got some kind of power up here. Come on and find me. Where is he? This is actually not a bad map. This is probably my favorite map so far because it is pretty open. His character model is that was that not him? Do you have a do you have an Because he just fucking exploded. I have a frag counter up. I guess that there's gonna be ones that aren't him. He's got decoys. Not bad. I, I I'm not complaining, but I'm just trying to make sure I know what this what the deal is here. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm using the rocket launcher when I'm way up here. That's not going to work out that well, is it? I don't want the tech bow, though. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take the, the title that I put in the other video, which I thought was good. Because I want tall stuff and I want him in a cage. That's more like what this is. Um, and it's fine because I haven't exported the other one to YouTube yet because, uh, Twitch decided to not work with YouTube right now and haven't fixed it yet since the two days since I streamed the other, the other time I did, of course. So, these are both going to end up just in, like, purgatory a little bit. Uh, I need to get against 
Oh, I guess he just does that. Yeah, because this is not this is not him. I have to beat this thing. Which is like a little monkey noise, like little monkey noises. So he sends out a drone, I guess. Completely terrible. It was just the way that that other one was going. Oh, and I had like three lives to spare too. All right, that wasn't so bad. I have unlocked Raptor, so I can be. I can just play as a Raptor now. That's cool. You'd think I'd unlock Tall Set, but yay! So if I do, is there an alternate skin for him? Oh, there is. It doesn't show it there, I guess. Player stats. Medals, two icons, one. What are they? We got a trophies achievement here. Defeated Tall Set. Defeated Bastille. So, I, okay, cool. I get like dog tags off of the, the boss characters I beat. That's good. Nope, I didn't want that. Oh no, maybe I do want that. Because. Alright, we'll be a raptor. Try. Okay, yeah, so these, everybody gets their own ladders over here. That's cool. Trial of Raptor, look at it, it's all, it's gonna be all over the place. Alright, let's do one more with the Trial of Raptor here. Um, I suppose I should make sure to talk about, um, the big thing with this game. You may have seen it before, uh, there is a, this game, this game comes in a black cartridge. Uh, that's the standard retail release of it. Um, all your regular copies of it are gonna be in black, there's no copies you could buy like a sealed one and not know if it's the the gray alternate version of it because they didn't make that they only did <laughs> this is funny uh so yeah so the gray alternate version of this game is extremely rare because the claim had to make a bunch of cartridges. not that many but they had to make a bunch of cartridges to address a bug in a very specific uh, level in the game. It is a co-op ladder. And there's one score counter thing. I believe it's a score counter thing. The score counter just doesn't work, so you'll never beat the level. Um, so, since they only wanted to do a very small run to not have to... They weren't going to replace every single copy of the game, obviously. But you had to order a certain number of colored cartridges when you did a colored run. So they did gray cartridges, and they sent them out to people that complained and they were like yeah it's a problem you know give us your address we'll send you a new copy but you won't get a nice black cartridge out of it so that's got the bug fix and very few people are ever going to run into that uh, organically i am wondering with this raptor thing though is, there, is the raptor like you only do uh the claws though and he's, is he just better with than uh the warhammer this would be interesting if that's the way this goes that'd be pretty funny do we get have rounds but you can't pick up okay you can't pick up weapons though the weapons don't just lie around this is interesting that's okay now we're starting to get a little bit more interesting ideas out of this uh, I don't think playing for the Raptor for a long time is gonna be all that fun let's see what the uh, basic now oh okay I don't they want to train you on being the Raptor since it's so different I don't know if I want to do that Unless that's just what they're calling the mission. Uh, his fucking noises are ridiculous, though. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the gray, gray cartridge gray floors is not very expensive. It, uh, it, still, it dropped and plateaued for a little while because someone found like a big box of them and like warehouse stuff. Uh, and they sold them off for like a standard price of like $120. But those have long since dried up, so. So that's that's back to be one of your real collectible ones. It's a thing about this game that we had to discuss. It's uh it's something I feel like 
if you're an N64 collector, you, you already know about it pretty well, but it's, it, like, couldn't discuss this game, couldn't be playing this game without bringing it up, you know, oh, it's a thing, it's a thing you have to know about. Um, I don't have that, uh, but I do have an EverDrive, which therefore has the patched ROM on it, so if I ever wanted to play co-op and wanted to not run into that bug that would prevent me from finishing the game all the way, I have the, I can do it on the EverDrive. But I don't know if I'm going to do that because, I mean, like, my partner is not, my partner will play video games with me, but I don't think the rock rate will be really upper So, and especially not like a long co-op ladder of it, so I don't think it's going to happen. And that's fine with me, because honestly, this game, uh, I appreciate it, but it's, it's not, it's not a game I feel like I'm gonna go back to when I'm done with it. This is fun, though. This is very like horrible game, then. This is like, this is like, this is like, this is like your, uh, Dead by Daylight and stuff. I'm the Raptor. I'm gonna fucking tear your face off. I don't have any guns or anything, but I'm, like, terrifying, and I make horrifying noises. Yeah, and I will hunt you the fuck down, buddy. I love how his, uh, because I just mash it all the time to just be like terrifying and aggressive. Like my, uh, oh, I'm facing Bastille now too, so this would be interesting. Because we did this before, and this is where we got caught off the last time. Four lives. All right. So yeah, interesting. Bastille has a shield. Oh my god, I'm sure we gotta go after that. Help, 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 help. Help, 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 help. Don't need any of that shit. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick it up, but... Oh god. He... I don't know who Bastille is, by the way. I don't know that much about the Sherlock or anything, so... Fucking Jesus. Okay, this is this is gonna be really tough yet again on the same boss fight, but I don't know why now. Jesus. Oh, uh, I guess that's why it's not. Once you get him, if you've got... Alright, you can see right there, the, uh, the actual melee attack is a lot more more powerful than, like, a lot of the guns were when I was Josh with Fire Seed, so... Uh, let's try and get up there and get that, that big health, and maybe I'll have a shot at this. Like, you didn't want to go at him like this with the forehand, that's, what, that's for sure. That was close though. All right, uh, I'm gonna save it right there. That was that was fun though. This is that was a better that was a uh, more fun, more diverse. Um, getting to see a little bit more what this game can do. I feel like I'll probably do one more stream of this. Um, particularly if I get to show if I get the chance to show off some of the more intense weapons because we've only seen a couple of the weapons so far because we're still in some early trials with early characters. But I like the cerebral bores in this game. Um, you know, which you know everyone talks about and didn't really get to show it off that much in Turok 2 either and I know it's going to be much much different in this game but like there is a, there is a decently large uh, list of weapons and I've only used so many of them and seen so many of the arenas and the characters so probably worth one more stream here but uh, we'll see It's this is definitely a game to like just kind of chip away at because it's not like a big level like all the other Turoks and you gotta sink some time into it all at once um, it's really like these these will go by in a couple minutes if you can actually manage to beat them as they come to you so uh, We'll see how much Where I get to by sort of like It's almost like playing this playing the sports games at this point because it's like turn your brain off and make sure you just Just pound away at it. Um, the only difference really being that like 
I do have to succeed or else I won't progress, unlike a sports game where I can just play it. And putting the time in is all you have to do. Uh, so look at that boy. Look at him right there. All right. Hopefully this get, we'll be able to go on to YouTube at some point um, because the licensing and the the uh, account connecting will be fixed, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'll have to highlight these videos just so that they stay on stay on Twitch for a, a decent length of time um, so that I can export them when that's ready because I saw a lot of people having this problem and they haven't fixed it. It was only two days ago because I actually did stream two days off in a row, but still, like... That's, that's very frustrating. This needs to work for me. This needs to work. Uh, anyway. Uh, cool stuff. Just before I go on the off chance that I don't do a third stream of this. The next game would be Top Gear Rally 2. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, thanks. Peace out.